Hello everybody, Alex here from Snake On Exotics and the blooming GoPro is as dead as a dodo again. So I've had I've got to do it like this for today. So um, we're going to dive in, we're going to do some upkeep on the snakes and stuff like that. But we've got a big day planned for tomorrow. So a lot of today is going to be prepping for tomorrow ready because we've got loads of deliveries and stuff's going to be mad tomorrow. So um, we're going to get all the jobs done and we'll have a good day. So uh, I shall see you in a bit. Everybody, delivery has arrived. So we're going to go for it now. Meg's going to do all the live food as she answers the phone. And then I'm going to open the rest. Let's open some boxes and see what we got. Do, 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 do. Come on, come on. We can do it. We ain't got Excalibur. I can't find him. We need Excalibur back. It's so much easier than this blade. So much easier. Come on. Oh, we've got some more live food in here, Meg. Spring towels. Spring towels. Do, 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 do. So we'll leave them. We'll give them to Meg out. She can sort them out. And then, oh, should we open this one? Should we see this one? Wow. It's a box inside a bag. Mm. What's else? What else is inside? Ooh! It's from the suppliers. So we might have some magazines or some freebies in there. Oh, we like freebies. We like freebies. So we'll leave that till the end and see if we've got any freebies. Uh, I've just lost the blade. Oh, there he is. There he is. That's where he lives. So we're opening this bad boy up. So we use the old knee as a support. There we go. That's easier, isn't it? That's better. Use my knee as my other hand. So come on. Ooh. What's we got? What's we got? Whoa. Whoa, we got locks and we got moss. Whoa. So those can go on the shelves. Let's see what we got in this one. Last box, biggest one. Whoa. We do have fish, corals and stuff coming in the next couple of days. So that's going to be really cool. Can't wait for that. Oh no, how much paper? Oh, and we got bowls, I believe. Yes, we got bowls. Yeah, we got loads of bowls, and I believe this is another big tortoise hide. Yes, look at it. Proper job. Can I size that tortoise hide? Oh. There we go, so we've got bowls and another tortoise eye because I used the one for the big snake, didn't I? Wow. Okay then, let's see what we've got. Come on freebies, come on freebies. We want a freebie. Come on baby, show me a freebie. Oh, I didn't do that very well. Come on. Oh, it's just a book. So, just this year's price list. No, next year's price list. Ah, next year's price list. Oh, that's annoying. That's annoying. I wanted a freebie. Technically, this is a freebie, but I wanted stuff. Oh, well. It's a nice little koi. Oh, well. We crack on and do some other jobs. Oh, we've got a little emergency. We've got a heater that's stuck on, and it's made the tank really, really hot. So if I show you on the, on the scale, whoop, we're right above it. Right up here we are. That's no good. So we've, I've literally, I've whipped it out. It's probably gonna start cracking in a minute. But uh, I've got to, I don't want the fish to die. So what I'm gonna do is it's wired into a big block at the back. So I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to disconnect it all. Then we have to find another heater and chuck it in. Before that was lucky. If we one more, if we hadn't picked this up tomorrow, they'd have been dead. Oh, that would have been our big angels. We don't want to lose the big angels, do we? So I'm gonna do this now. We've just managed to save the fish. Got it out and saved the fish, so we'll have a little look at it. But I can't see anything proper wrong with it. it looks like there's water inside, so 
We'll have a little look at it and then um, see if we can spot anything. But see, that's why without fail, every, every year you should change the heater, even if you don't need to, just in case this happens. Because if I'd have left, if it any longer, it'd cook them fish. It was 32 degrees, which is like getting really, really up there. So you can see there's a bit of water inside, the condensation and stuff. I can't see anything like any cracks or any breaks or anything in it. Oh, I don't know. Set to 20 degrees, and it was up at 32. I don't know. Just had a power cut. So, God knows what's gone on. The only thing that's happened is I have messed with that wall. So we're gonna have to have a look at this again. So what I'll do is I'll turn off um, where I turned it off to isolate it to work on it. So we'll do that, we'll turn that off. And then if it's that, it should just come straight back on. If it doesn't, we know it's nothing to do with that and something else is, is playing up. Okay, so, we'll give it a go. Oh, it's turned back on. So it must be something that we've done over there at that pub. I think. So, looks like we've got to take that apart again, have a look at it and see what's wrong. So all I'm doing is take the heater out. So, something's playing up. We'll have a butcher's. Hopefully, we don't have another power cut. What I've done, I've whipped out all the old heaters. I've only left the new, the new up-to-date ones in. So hopefully, I should be able to switch it back on and everything should be okay. Turned it back on, we ain't tripped nothing out yet. Got the old one out as well, so we are officially completely out of the old ones. So now we're just waiting for the new ones to come in tomorrow. This one does look a bit ripe as well. There's definitely there's something a lot more going wrong with this one than there was on the other one. So as soon as we get the new ones tomorrow, we can whack them in, and they're a little bit warm anyway. So a day without the heat isn't the worst thing in the world. But another rescue fish come in a jar today. <laughs> so we're gonna have to put him in a bag, and he's gonna go in this one. We have to put you in a bag, mate. Can't have you in a jar, mate. We'll put you in here, and you'll be all right. You can activate you. So we're all getting ready for lockdown now at the shop. So the only thing that's changing is you won't be allowed in the shop. So if you want to know what's in stock, you have to watch me videos and find out what we got in stock. I will be putting some little ones on the Facebook as well, little shop tours and stuff. Um, and then we, we serve you at the door. So what we're doing now, we've got Mego, Arts and Crafts Day today. So she's making all the signs for the shop, Arts and crafty up. So we've got another one here, important as of Thursday the 12th of November, due to government guidelines. We shall not be allowed customers in the shop. Please wait to be served at the door. Um, masks must be worn, unless you're exempt. Uh, sorry for any inconvenience. Thank you for understanding. So I think that's perfect for our uh, needs. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna cordon off all the door. So you'll be able to come in this area, but you won't be able to come past these. So we're gonna have a nice little waiting area so you can we can have two or three people in this area waiting with still six foot distances and then they can have a look at Snappy and they can have a look at the Crocodile Skink while they wait. So I think that's best case scenario, still open but we just can't, just can't come around the shop. We've got a cool video planned for in the future. So I've just had this bad boy turn up. Bing! That's not a normal torch is it? That is my friend a UV torch, ultraviolet. So we can go around all the fish, corals, reptiles, and we're gonna see what glows cool colors. That's gonna be a cool thing today. <coughs> well, not today, tomorrow. So we might do it tomorrow, depending if we've got loads of deliveries. If we've got loads of deliveries, I might save it for a day when it's a little bit quiet. Of course, it's getting darker and darker on the nights, so we should be able to have cool days. We go around with the blue light. Woo! And, uh, find out what glows and what don't. So that's the plan for the future, is the UV light. So as I said, not yesterday, day before, today we're gonna to put the fresh moss in everybody's tank. So we're gonna do teamwork today because Meg needs to get into the hides. So what I'm gonna do, we're gonna take the hides off, 
I'm going to hold the snakes while Meg puts all the fresh moss in, gives them a spray, puts the hide back and then I'm going to put the snake back in. So we're going to do that um, and then we just want for stuff with the animals. Hello missus, how are you? You want to come out? You've got to come out and be handled because Meg's got to do your moss and we've got to give you a spray you have. Come on darling. So you're going to have a mossy bed for to sleep on. You gonna come with me? Oh, hello. Oh, you're lovely and warm, you are. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And we're nice and tame now, aren't we, darling? Yes, we are. Nice and tame. So she is a sp spider vanilla. Vanilla spider. Well, that didn't take long, did it, darling? No, it didn't. She's done it for you, hasn't she? Isn't she on the ball today? <laughs> yes, she is. So I think, Mego, do, do you want to have a little hold? There you go, Mego. Oh, she's really warm. I said she was really warm. Mm. She's such a stubby snake. She's little, she's chunky. Mm. Wanna go back in your house? Oh, we'll give Meg the honours of putting her back. Mm. So you can see we've got a lovely spread of moss now. A lovely pile of moss in the hide. So sh she didn't shed bad anyway, but she should shed perfectly now. In your hide. No, going in your bath. Uh, she, she hasn't explored, she does. She likes to have baths all the time, doesn't she? She does love a bath. Like, she does love a bath. She's so chunky. <laughs> so chunky. So there we go, we'll give it a shut. And we'll let her have an explore. I do the same thing now with Sir Sparks a lot. So uh, I think Meg's going to whip the hide out and then I'm just going to dive in and grab the snake. Whoa. So as soon as he's ready, because he loves his moss, he does. He loves it a bit too much because he bites it sometimes. Only by accident. No. So we're gonna get him out and have a little handle, have a little chat about him, and then make him do her work. You've got a little thing on your head. <laughs> He's got the sensor on his head. It's on your head, mate. That's no good. Like, Come on, buddy. Care. Come on, you little cowpat. <laughs> I love a little nickname for him is the cowpat python. Oh, I've got to answer the phone, so I'm afraid I'm gonna to have to stop recording. Answer the phone, but we can be okay for a second. How are we doing, darling? We answered the phone, didn't we? We answered the phone. I bet they didn't really think that I had a snake in my hand while I was talking to them. No, they didn't realise that at all. But you're packing on some timber now, aren't you, mate? Packing on some timber. Lovely little spark royal. Should put out some lovely babies to anybody who wants a, a nice stud male. Isn't it, mate? Oh, he's hiding. Camera shy. So they've got loads of nicknames. They've got the royal python. Uh, cowpat python, ball python, loads of little nicknames. Um, a lot of it is from them balling up in a ball. The other name, the actual royal python, comes from the um, where they originate from in Africa. The African tribes, the kings and queens of the tribes, would have a royal python as their like uh, show of authority and power. So they'd have a pet royal python around their neck and stuff like that and then that's where it got the royal from he's licking the camera he's licking the camera licking the camera so that's where they get the name royal from so we're putting has meg done it now I oh i've done it without me even noticing she's that quick she's that quick so what we're going to do oh no you sneak you can't go in my top you can't go in my top you've got to go in the in the tank see you mean the tank look. oh yes Oh yes. Got lots of moss in the bed. Lots of moss. Look at all the moss you got in there. Look at the mossy bed. Oh, mossy bed. Mossy bed for Sparky. You gonna go to bed? Does it smell different? Is that what it is? It's, oh, he fell off. He's a good lad. He's gonna have an explore now. Figure out what the crack is because it smells a bit different. That's why he's a bit confused. But as soon as he realizes, he'll be back in his hide, chilling. Come on then, darling, it's your turn. You're gonna come out? Come on then. She might be a little bit funny because she's in shed. So we want to make sure we watch her and don't make sure she doesn't bite us. We don't want to get bit. Come on, darling. Come on, get off the plant. Come on. Oh, is the plant coming as well? No? Come on, darling, you're up around the plant. Nearly. Come on. Nearly. There we go. So she's in shed again. 
That's why she looks all purpley. I don't know. So we'll leave her to it. Let Meg do her work and we'll have a little play with the sneak. So I think she's doing really well. About to shed again, that's why she didn't feed. So fingers crossed next week she'll feed and do really well. There we go, so I've just plonked her back in. She's having a little explore. So I'm happy with that. We did a nice little job. The job we've got to do today, so I've already checked it first thing this morning. But we want to check the king snake substrate and poo has got no blood in it. So as I said yesterday in our little update, that the um, it was she'd overstrained um, trying to push out the poo is what we we think has happened. So um, what I've been told to do now is check the poo and the substrate, check if there's any blood or anything, and then fingers crossed there's no other blood and it was just that one time. If there is more blood, that's when we've got to go and actually take it for treatment at the vets. So we're going to search it all now. I don't see any because I've already checked once this morning, but we'll check again um, and double check everything because she had a poo now. She hasn't had, didn't have a poo before. So we get all the substrate out, have a search of it, and then fingers crossed there's nothing there. So I've had a good look round. I've took the the uh, water bowl out and the hide and there is not one speck of blood so we've got the poo there so I um, I can take the poo out could a tail go in calm down darling it's okay there's no rustle no troubles no troubles at all no troubles at all that's it you leave the paper there we go a little bit more I know your tails going so let's have a look. I don't see anything red. Well, there's a tiny, tiniest, tiniest bit. But that's probably from the blood clot left over from where she did bleed. So uh, we can throw that away. Thank you, Mago. And we can put some fresh tissue in. She's under the paper because she was having us, she was trying to attack us. Trying to attack us, she was. So, yep, that's fine, that's okay. No, stay in the tank. So we'll check down here. Oh, yay, 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 please stay in the tank. Please, please, thank you. So we'll check again. No snake under there, so that can go there. Oops, that's why she's over here. Do you have to? No, 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 no. No, thank you. Please stay there. No, thank you. Okay, so we've got to catch Big Mama. Got to do the big tank. Oh, the lordy. Oh, the lordy. Big Mama, Big Mama. We love her. I know, but she's scary. She's scary. She's got that nice big hide and she hides under the little bit of... I know, she's got the biggest hide in the world and she wants the one won't go in it. Come on, darling. Hello. Hello. Can we come out? Oh, she's not happy. She's not happy. She's gone into cowpat. Gone into cowpat form. So that's where they get the nickname ball python. And cowpat python from. They just looks like a big blob of brain. So I believe her head is just there, hiding underneath her tail. Whoop, 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 whoop. She's swinging around. So if we hold her nice, oh, sorry. If we hold her nice and calm, she should eventually come out. So we've got Meg working away, putting the new moss in. I'm going to put some moss substrate in. More substrate as well. Oh, living up, living there. I like you, I'm darling. So we're going to hold her nice and still now. And hopefully she might come out. Because the last time we held her, she was out and about having a look round. So that was a really nice handle that was. She didn't strike or nothing. So I'll hold her for a little bit, see if she comes out or not. There she is. Hello, darling. Still in the strike position. I don't know. So I've been very careful because I don't just don't want to turn and bite me. If she bites me, it's going to be a mess. What's she doing? What are you doing? Hey.
You ain't too bad, am you, darling? No. Yo. Do you want her to bite me on the face? She's quite a big snake, to be fair, for a while. Don't you bite me. Don't you bite me. Oh, she was licking me then. We're nearly ready, Mego. What are you thinking? Okay. Nearly, nearly ready. Nearly ready. Oh, I'm living wild now. Living wild now. Got big mum around me. I don't know where the red is. That's the only problem. Oh, there she is. There she is. Oh, she's, I can feel her kicking off at the back. Oh, she's kicking off behind me. Okay, dokie. So we're going to put her back in the viv now. I'm going to put you back in, darling. And we've got to sort out your power because for some reason your light's gone off. So you go in there while Ali sorts your power aid. She's going in her hide now. She's got bedding in there. In you go, chubby <laughs> bum. Look at the size of it. She's huge. Come on. In you go. Come on. In you go. In you go. There we go. So where's the probe? I'm going to try and find the heat probe and then we can go. There we go. Ali fixed it. <laughs> Ali fixed it. Proper job. Now we're going to give the south in a feed and we're going to give the baby dragon a feed. So it's feeding baby dragon time. Hello mate, do you want a bug? It's slightly bigger than you usually have, what do you think? Do you want him? Nice bug. Oh, he jumped away. Jumped away. Let's get you another one. We'll get you another one. What about that one? How's that? Oh, yummy, yummy, yummy. I got bugs in my tummy. Oh, loving that. Loving that. Oh, he's such a good boy. Such a good boy. What do you reckon? Do you reckon you're going to eat another one, do you think? Because you've got one that's loose in the tank that you can have for tonight. So that's your supper. One more? What do you thinking, eh? Want one more? Do we want one more? Do we want one more? No? Oh well, there's two in the tank for you to eat later on tonight. How's that sound? He's over there, look. He's escaping. He's escaping. Oh, I don't know. I know, I know. I know. Fancy meeting you here. He's come for a cuddle. You had a cuddle? That was cool. I had a cuddle! <laughs> I had a cuddle! We got it on camera and everything. So, do you want a bug for giving me a cuddle since you're such a nice man? No? No? Oh, come on in. Oh, he's crazy. Oh, he's getting a good lad. He's I think getting now he's getting bigger, man. he's getting a bit hungrier. <laughs> I didn't think he'd come and give me a cuddle. That was <laughs> really cool. Hey, yo, mate. Got a wet tail. He's really starting to get his sail fin now and all his defining features. So I don't want to scare him, but you can see the ridge on his tail now. You can see the ridge on his back really getting defined. He's going to be the most coolest lizard I have ever had in the shop. He's shedding at the moment, isn't he? Is he shedding? Yeah. Oh, he looks like he's starting to shed. Come on, munch your bug, buddy. We've got another one here for you, ready? He enjoys a locust. He enjoys a locust. So I think what we're going to do, the main aim with him is to get him nice and tame and then I'm going to build him a big shop enclosure. So I think where that wall is now, we might do a big enclosure for him because he's going to get four and a half foot long. So we're going to need a proper little enclosure. Come on in. Well, you're full now. You only had one. Don't play games. You're gonna be lazy now, aren't you? What if I show you the box? No? I got the box. <coughs> He's thinking about it. Come on. He 
He's like, you had a cuddle, that's all you're having. Come on. Ooh. Such a little woman. I don't know. But actually, I think he's a boy. No, I'm pretty sure he's a boy. Pretty sure he's a boy. Got about that. So, see if we get, we touch his tootsies? Yes, let me touch his toes. Can I touch his tail? No, can't touch the tail yet. <laughs> well, let me touch the tail. And he got whipped. Can I touch the touches again? Oh, he's gonna get me. He doesn't like that. Doesn't like me touching him yet. He's like, you had a cuddle, don't get too touchy feely. So, I'm gonna try giving him one more. He's like puffing up his chest. He is, he's proper pushing his chest up, isn't he? So, we're gonna try him one more now. Come on. He's so, I think he's got so much going on in his head. I'd love to know what he's thinking. Do you one? I'm not gonna get you, though. <laughs> He's like, no. Not the tail. Good Not one. my tail. You made him jump. That was really cool, that was. Didn't expect him to come out and give me cuddles. So, over the moon. He's getting really tame. will come out. He's not scared of me at all. So, best case scenario, that was. So, really, really progressing really well. So, we'll say goodbye in a sec, I think. Okay then everybody, I think that's all we've got time for today. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, comment and share for me. Big day tomorrow, remember. Uh, like, subscribe, comment and share. Um, please subscribe. See you in the future. Bye.